Hello guys, welcome to 4K channel. Today I'm bringing something really special. Um, I used to collect stamps. I still have my beautiful stamp collection, but lately I've been collecting mostly banknotes. And I was browsing on eBay when I came across this beauty. This is not a banknote. It's actually a letter, what's considered a postal history. Basically an old letter that has never been opened and it has beautiful stamps, beautiful cancellation on it. And what makes it really special is the history. So let's get started. I'm gonna open this mail. I got this yesterday and uh, it was evening time. So I had to, you know, keep myself from uh, opening it last night. Really wanted to do that, but uh, I actually wanted to make a video on it. So waited till this morning to open it live on this video. Wow. It says China Airmail first flight. So that kind of gives away a little bit of the history behind it. And here it is, guys. This beautiful letter. I love this classic red and blue striped envelope. These, this is what they were using for airmail. Anyways, the history behind this is so special. This is the first trans-Pacific flight from Hong Kong to California. Hong Kong to San Francisco uh, by airmail. And then you have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful King George V stamps. $2.50 and 30 cent. And then you have these beautiful cancellation. Cancelled in Hong Kong on 28th April 1937. Airmail. And this letter is meant for Miss Maline, who lives in Washington, D.C. I like this post box number 1234. And uh, there's a little bit of design. Air root bond on the back you have some more cancellations and this cancellation is when it I guess arrived May 4th 10 a.m. 1937 in San Francisco so this is stamped when it arrived from Hong Kong and here it just says it's just an ad buy US savings bond ask your postmaster okay can't really see this one here. I guess this is the stamp when it arrived in Washington, D.C. So guys, I don't collect postal history, but when I saw this, I, I was really intrigued. I did a little bit of uh, research, looked this up, and the story behind this is, in the past, you know, if you uh, were to send mail, it would go between USA and China or Hong Kong, uh, you know, via a steamboat, which took, um, you know, a long time. It used to take actually 17 days, you know, more than two weeks to get there. Um, in 1935, uh, Pan Am, Pan Am Airways. Remember Pan Am Airways? Doesn't doesn't any exist um, doesn't exist anymore. Pan Am Airways was very popular. So in 1935, Pan Am started these uh, mail service via uh, these airplanes. These airplanes were called China Clipper. Basically, these are like um, four engine, you know, flying boats. And so in 1935, they started doing. Um, uh, these flights from uh, California or San Francisco to Man uh, Manila, Philippines. And they were just flying mail bags and mail. And two years later is when they had the first 
Trans-Pacific flight. It was actually a passenger flight. There were seven passengers on this flight. It left on April 21st. It uh, left Alameda, California, which is right next to San Francisco. It left Alameda, California on April 21st and arrived, arrived seven days later, seven days later on April 28th to Hong Kong. So it took seven days and it made many stops. It uh, went through uh, Hawaii, Guam, Manila, Philippines, Macau, China, and then finally Hong Kong. So it was a basically, it was in the air for about 65 hours. So it made all those stops. Finally got to Hong Kong. And uh, if you have a postal history going from San Francisco to Hong Kong, obviously you would have different stamps on it. You would have US stamps and I will put an example of that, of a postal history going from San Francisco to Hong Kong, which was the first flight. And then on the way back, this is where we have this postal history. Uh, it picked up mail from Hong Kong destined for USA. And uh, obviously this one was meant for Washington DC. So once it arrived in San Francisco, it had to still keep traveling until it went to from the west coast of USA to east coast, basically from San Francisco to Washington, D.C. San Francisco is on the west coast and then, San, you know, Washington, D.C., the capital is on the east coast. So it took a little while, hence why, you know, it didn't arrive uh, until um, May 4th. Um, anyways. So the beautiful thing about this particular postal history is the fact that you have these old Hong Kong stamps, canceled used stamps. I don't collect, uh, I love to collect uh, unused mint stamps, um, but you know, once you have them on an envelope like this, uh, these, these stamps, with this full cancellations and this beautiful envelope, um, you know, I, I really love it. Um, I'm gonna show you how, you know, I don't have a stamps catalog, um, but uh, I use this online free, you know, stamp world catalog and I will put a small video at the end uh, to show you how I figured out what's the catalog number and the value of these stamps. Uh, we have a $2 stamp, 50 cents and 30 cents. These are um, from 1921 through 1926. Uh, pick number is, I'm not I'm sorry, not pick number, but uh, the, the catalog number is 120, 121 and 123. This being the more expensive stamp and on that catalog, it lists this stamp as being $175 if you get it mint condition, and then about $8 if it's uh, used. I bought this whole uh, postal history envelope for about $25. So that's pretty fair price saying, um, you know, this stamp alone is about $8. This one here in used condition is about 25 cents, so not very expensive. And this one here, the, the yellow one, yellow and purple, this one here is actually $2 used. And if it's, you know, mint condition, it would be $12. So, you know, the fact that there this, this has so much history, um, this definitely makes for a great collectible. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna collect other you know, postal history, but uh, certainly this got me so intrigued and uh, uh, I wanted to definitely share this with you guys and uh, maybe you guys can leave me some comments or about what you collect, you know, if you collect uh, postal history and if you have anything like this in your collection and or what else you recommend uh, I should look into, that would be excellent. Um,